Alright everyone, now since the fact that I did Garden Warfare 1 and Garden Warfare 2, you know, Plants vs Zombies, I thought, you know, let's do Battle for Nairville, but this is on Switch, the only version which matters, you know. And uh, yeah, pretty nice, as you can see I've made a lot of progress, you know, so the characters are leveled up here, yeah, you know, 854, <laughs> that's what my rank is. Alright, as we go over to here as well. With the Switch version, what also matters, the fact that I can choose any prize map I want to complete. It's got to be my main goal in this, just completing all prize maps. But uh, yeah, what do we want to do? Well, in this game, you know, I'm just, just the mic, put it a bit close to me here. In this game specifically, you know, we have Battle Arena game mode, which isn't in Garden Warfare 1 or 2. So, yeah, I thought, hey, let's play this shit, you know. And uh, we might play a bit of Garden or Graveyard Ops later, but yeah, I thought, uh, let's play this, you know. And I think we're actually going to play on the zombie side, and then in the next video I plan to play on the plant side, I plan to play Ops, you know, on the plant side, yeah. But I think in this video I'm going to play, you know, Battle Arena on the zombie side, and I'm going to play, you know, Graveyard Ops, yeah, which is on the zombie side, so uh, yeah. You know, I guess we're just jumping right into this, you know. I'm not even going to cut the video because it literally takes a few seconds. Alright. So I think, you know, since I've mastered some of the characters, I'm going to, like, play as characters which, you know, are mastered where, you know, I know master isn't the max level, you know, for a character in this game. Um, but still, it is the last level where, you know, you get any more upgrades, so... I guess you just want, you know, all the characters to be at their final form where they've gotten the most upgrades they can actually unlock, not including legendary legendary upgrades, which I myself have unlocked anyways. Alright, so we're playing as Imp, you know? Yeah. I feel like the crosshair isn't, like, you know, as good as in God Warfare 2 where, you know, it's more of a square. Here, you know, it's more of a triangle with the aiming. Yeah, I think I prefer the Imp in God Warfare 2. But at least, you know, we can sprint, you know, that's a nice thing. And I'm dead. Well, shit. But we won anyway, so, yeah. Guess that's good. Alright, who do we want to play as now? Let's play as a character which was first introduced in Battle for Neighborville, you know. Yeah, a lot of people trash the new classes, you know. I actually kind of fuck with them. New plant classes, you know, are good. New zombie classes, you know, space get, not too bad. Ace action hero is alright. Electric slide, you know, it's alright, but I think I prefer 80s or space cadet. Yeah. And we've also got post lodge character classes like wizard, TV head, and, you know, wildflower. Yeah. They're not too bad as well. This game itself is fine, really. Though I would prefer the Switch version out of the other versions like PlayStation and Xbox, yeah. In a future video I will be playing on Xbox. But yeah, this is the version which matters the most. And we won. That was nice. Alright. Okay. Space Cadet, you know, two and a half levels away from being Master. You know, maybe at some point we will get it to master. Could just be my main zombie to play as, you know, for a while until we get it to master, you know? Yeah. Alright. Okay. There are the plants. And there are the zombies, it's like when you custom characters in the cutscene. And me on the left there. Alright, let's play. Round three. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, space cadet. You know, I think it's kind of similar to the Citron. At least the redesign of the Citron and BFN, you know, how it's got like a laser, you know, as an ability and a minigun as the primary weapon in Gun Warfare 2. The laser for the Citron was like the main weapon. Yeah. Though, people are probably going to get angry at me for this, but I think I prefer the Citron in Battle for Neighborville than in Gun Warfare 2. You know, like the fact that he has ammo now instead of just a cooldown system, you know. I actually kind of fuck with that, that's not too bad, you know? Yeah. Space Cadet though is kind of better since, you know, not only can it do everything Citron does, 
but it can also double jump. And we won. That's nice. Alright. Why are you fucking reviving this in the last game? Alright. We are going to win this, so... Let's play as All-Star. Yeah, like this amazing skin which I grinded up to 200,000 coins to get. Bad thing about this, the Switch version, like everything's just coins, you know, no rainbow stars, no microtransactions. You know, just play for a few hours and you've got a skin or, you know, a legendary upgrade or anything like that. Or you play for a few days, you know, like a few hours over a few days and, you know, you've gotten fucking wizard, TP head or wildflower. Which is nice. Alright, sorry about that. The mic just dropped there, you know. Just trying to sort it out. Alright, there we go. But yeah, um, it's kind of nice, you know. That you know you can just play the game and unlock it instead of like actually buying it, like and it's easier to unlock. I, it's, I know it's technically unlockable because I've unlocked it, you know, from lots of legendary upgrades on PlayStation, you know. But still, it is nice that it's easier to unlock. Yeah, and there we go. We've won. That's nice. Six point eight thousand coins. Wish it was six point nine. That would have been good. All right, now that we play Battle Arena, let's play Graveyard Ops. You know. Yeah, we just got to be playing on the zombie side for this video. We've got to play on the plant side next video as a specific character which I want to talk about, which was introduced in Battle for Naperville. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Right, who do we want to play as? You know? Let's play as All-Star. Yeah. That will be nice. Yeah, since the fact that with a minigun you could probably take out multiple enemies, yeah. Alright, let's install the grave matic even though it's like... Is that what it's called now? Like it was called a fucking tombstone in fucking Garden Warfare 2 when Graveyard Ops was introduced, so... I don't know why you call it a grave matic now. Kind of seems weird. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. Fucking special way, vending fucking grave matic from damage. Can we actually do this? Usually I can't, because of just, under certain circumstances, shit happens and... No, you know what? No, let's have some confidence in this. I think I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Motherfucker, don't. Yeah, this is why I chose All-Star. Hey, there we go. That's nice. Alright. Alright, leveled up. That's nice. Like, leveled up as soon as I finished a wave. That's very nice. But yeah, 855. Yeah, I've, I've kind of played with a lot of this game, yeah. I'm telling you, if you're going to buy this game, if you have, like, every other console and you have Switch included as well, in that shite, you know, get it on the fucking Switch, you know? Like, it's the best version of this game. Yeah. And you can even play offline, like, actually offline. You know, and even if you play online, you don't even need a Switch Online membership to do some of the challenges, you know. But now, we're going into the boss wave. And this is going to be the only boss wave, you know, because in Battle for Neighborville, it's 5 waves for Ops instead of 10. I don't know why it is, like, why they felt the need to shorten it down, you know. Really, there was no need, you know, but yeah. They did. Alright, the boss is down. Now to take care of these little shits. Hopefully this works this time. Yes. That was good. That's another reason I chose All-Star. I believe I said that before. Or I might not have done. Who knows. Perfect top bonus. No knockouts. Amazing. Decent amount of coins. Let's go. Ah. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here, lads. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to make two more videos on this game. And then, you know, at some point I'm going to start, you know, season 4 of the next Minecraft Let's Play, the final season, you know, on the 7th when the Wild Update comes out. But, yeah, I'm going to end off this video, lads. Hope you all enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, see you.